What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have my long awaited Rick Owens collection video alongside why Rick Owens is my favorite designer. Why Rick Owens is my favorite designer? There we go, that's better said. Kind of a hot take, so to speak, if you wanna say, just because there is a lot of designers on this planet in this universe that we call Fashion, of course, but all that being said, Rick Owens has stood the test of time in my personal wardrobe, and I just see it as it's meant to be. Clearly, it works for me, so I'm just gonna get into why I appreciate him and its compatibility with my wardrobe, as well as all of the pieces that I currently have in my wardrobe with Rick Owens. You guys are gonna get the whole rundown, hold down in this video. Before we get into all of that, make sure to go follow the boy on Instagram. Of course, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that, so that's what you can check out on there, as well as like this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. We're gonna get straight into why Rick Owens is my favorite designer. So firstly, why Rick Owens is my favorite designer. I think I have about five points here that I quickly want to touch on. The first point is proportions and silhouette. So basically how the clothes fall on my body and also how it plays with certain proportions and cuts when it comes to his garments that he makes. Guys, crazy. It's just, a, it's, it's a match made in heaven, like Rick's clothing, Kyron, bada bing bada boom, done deal. I realized this maybe transitioning out of the skinny jeans era so to speak i started investing into pants and when i started giving more attention to pants and realizing that there's another silhouette besides just skinny jeans um it was a dark time for everyone don't bash me obviously i'm not one of the rick sith lords i'm approaching this rick owens conversation very open-minded like i'm not a gatekeeper at all uh, I'm not your typical Rick, Rick Sapien, you know what I mean? So don't come for me in the comments. But for me personally, why I appreciated Rick's silhouette so much is just because it broke that box for me and allowed me to explore different cuts, uh, different patterns and breaking that redundant nature of skinny jeans all the time, just bow, bow, bow. So when I started getting into wider cuts and like flared pants, etc playing with darker tones but making them experimental with the cut of the garment was something that rick owens did for me and also just complements my personal build um i have more of a, like a, a mid-set body i would say not too skinny not too thickums either <laughs> so yeah it just suits my body you don't have to be too big like like even if you're on the bigger side, if you're on the skinnier side, it kind of fits everyone's body type. It just depends on the pieces that you gravitate toward. And that's something that you should definitely know before you buy clothing, what fits your personal body type. And then you'll feel the most comfortable in your clothes and look the best you can. So the second point that I wanted to make for Rick Owens, he was the one of the first designers to me personally that I was aware of that made baggy clothes look chic and, and also elegant. For the longest time growing up in the different environments that I've seen, like with a lot of culture that I've been absorbed in, like when it comes to like Joel Santana and Lil Wayne, all of these inspirations that I had culturally, it was always like baggy was like super street, obviously, or like hood, everything like that. You know what I mean? A lot of connotations to baggy clothes. But when I saw Rick Owens take something that had a certain connotation in my mind and made it the most high version of fashion I've ever seen at the time, back in like 2014, 2015, when I started buying into Rick Owens, it, was, it just blew my mind. Like I didn't think it would ever be possible to take something that's baggy and make it look so presentable and that blew my mind and that made me invest into the brand a whole lot more because it took something that was familiar to me and brought it into a whole other world and that's why I liked it so much. Third reason, it allowed me to get experimental with my own personal fashion. That being said, it proposed a lot of pieces that I normally would not buy into. A perfect example of that is the Kiss Boots. A lot of people saw that I tried on the Kiss Boots. A lot of people wanna know my personal opinions on them. As for the Kiss Boots, I see how it could be looked as a very feminine silhouette. 
guys in heels have been like, you know, test everyone's masculinity. I get it. But if you go back to like the 70s and everything like that, an era that I'm personally such a big fan of, the 90s and the 70s, but more specifically the 70s, there's pictures of black men and even white men, any type of guy, girl, no matter race be the box you want to hold yourself in or gender rather people wearing heels okay that's just done deal that's what it is it's fine get your head out of the gutter it's fine to wear heels if you want to wear heels okay as for me i didn't see it as anything too crazy like the only thing that i was on i would rather it be a bit more discreet that's why i didn't go for the one that i was looking at the one i would want in a dream world here i'm going to build it up for you metal grill on the toe black leather body but like trans translucent not transparent translucent black clear sole you get me but the last one that dropped on a similar tip was like uh black grill black body and clear that one's pretty sick too but you know i want what my heart wants you know what i mean so there you have it i'm being picky i feel like they will drop something similar to that in the near future so i'm just gonna be patient see if it drops if it does then it's meant to be i'll pull the trigger it's a lot easier to walk in them than i than i imagined so definitely something that you can only really wear to events but if you're the type of personality like a character such as wisdom the guy that does tiktok um and you're a bit more flamboyant you don't mind having that type of attention on you then you can you can easily wear them every single day if you want but for me they're more of an event type of shoe uh i walked in them i got super comfortable within the first 15 seconds of having them on uh, and you feel confident, you feel freaking tall, you feel snatched, like you feel like, just feel like a boss, honestly. So I can't say enough good things about that boot. Super sick, might add them to the collection in the near future. If I have the balls, on to the next point that I wanna make on why Rick is my favorite designer. As a fellow creative and designer, Rick also allowed me to look at designers as not just such, if that makes sense. I'll dive a bit more into that analogy. I always wanted to see myself as like a renaissance type of guy. I didn't want to be categorized as just designing clothing or just be only related to clothes my whole life because I have other interests. I like film, I like art, I like photography, I like furniture, I like a whole bunch of different things. So with Rick, he was one of the few people that I admired in fashion that also translated into the likes of like furniture and art and seeing a person transition into that seamlessly and people don't look at it sideways and people still appreciate it to such a high regard. It was fascinating to me and that's something that I wanna channel in my own work moving into the future. I don't wanna just be only known for clothes. I wanna be able to do furniture if I want. I wanna be able to do art galleries if I want, you know what I mean? So another reason why Rick is my favorite designer. Lastly is the community. Whether you love or hate it, it is there. Some are super accepting and warm and and just heartfelt but on the other hand you have a lot of gatekeepers with the rick community it comes with a lot of dark fashion i realize anything that has black clothing has a lot of geeky <laughs> gatekeeping type beat people that just don't want to have other people come into the the space that they're occupying because then it's not going to feel cool anymore to them the people the, what i have to say to those people honestly is just like straight up like screw you like let other people enjoy the clothes if they want to enjoy the clothes the only thing that i do say to the other people that are newcomers just get educated like anything that you are wearing get as much information as you can out of what you're contributing to and what you're participating in i like the story that's backed by anything that i financially back you know what i mean especially with my clothing so i like to know as much as i can and i'm not an encyclopedia i don't know everything so i'm not saying i know everything so i can always learn new things and everyone should be the same way anyway all that to say i appreciate the passion that this community has and to say to to, to see all of these people participate in the same brand and further to be like literally uh 
a tight beat of a character that's like a Rick Sapien. It's crazy. It, it, it's literally insane to, to see that. And I can only wish that for my brand. I can only wish that for anyone's brand that like you could see it from a distance and be like, that's a Rick head. Like that dude knows Tyrone, Michelle and Rick for sure. <laughs> All of that out of the way, enough of me geeking out about Rick Owens. I feel like I'm just gonna go through all of the pieces that I personally own. I have around 10 pieces of Rick clothing. I don't have a million, you know what I mean? Like this is not a lot for some people. This may be a lot to some people, but you guys tell me, let me know how you feel in the comments about my Rick collection. I'm about to dive into it right now. Starting off with my first piece I ever bought. This is back in 2015 and then look at how long they lasted, all right? This piece is from 2015. I believe fall winter these are the Rick Owens geo baskets now these are cooked they're looking a lot better because of my softbox softbox light right now but these are the Rick Owens geo baskets I cooked them to perfection. Honestly, a tank of a shoe, a little bit of heel drag right there, some mm, yucky goodness graciousness on the bottom. But yeah, plenty of heel drag. Got the little logo down there. And it's still a YKK zipper pair. I got these way too big of a size, in way too big of a size. I recommend you guys sizing down. I got these in a 44. I am a true size 11. In a dream world, I would go back and get a 43 and a half or a 43 straight up. So half size to full size down depending on how wide your foot is and yeah my like such a great investment i got these in 2015 it's 2021 now and they're still going strong these could go and last you years and years to come this is why i'm kind of banking on investing in like uh in like a dunk or, or like a rick dunk just because it's been a grail of mine and this was the first pair of ricks that i got so i feel like it's totally good to get it's like og brother you know what i mean so might as well stay consistent with the footwear this is the the most recent footwear that I got from Rick. This is the leather pair of Mainline Ramones. The other ones were Mainline as, as well. And this is my first ever pair of Ramones. I, I've always loved this shoe. I've just like skimped out on getting it for so long. I have no idea why. The leather is pretty nice on this. It's wearing in quite nicely. I've always seen a lot of my friends own this pair and theirs are <laughs> theirs are pretty cooked but mine is pretty fresh for the moment mine might get cooked as well just through like partying and like going out dinners etc but they're basically like a chic pair of converse with a chunkier silhouette i would only do the mainline ones to be honest because i feel like the leather is just more bang for your buck i don't really stand behind the whole canvas thing uh, i've seen a lot of bad things happen to the canvas pairs lots of tearing bad just bad get the leather pair you'll enjoy it a whole lot more half size to full size down for the footwear there you go last pair of footwear is a popular pair it just keeps on peaking up in popularity recently i've been seeing like a lot of like i've seen virgil wearing this often ken ijima on his vlogs and stuff like that as well but yeah the rick birkenstocks a lot of people have been looking into these i i've seen them restock a couple times on the rick website you can see like the rick branding on the inside right here just yeah pony hair birkenstocks kind of crazy i got these like when they first came out pretty much. I love this. As soon as I seen it, I knew that I wanted them just cause it was like a funky take on the Birkenstock. And that's always something that I've wanted. Weirdly enough, I like slides and sandals a whole lot. I got the idea to maybe do a whole video on slides. So let me know what you would want out of that video, whether it's like styling slides or just like a slides collection. I don't have too many or a lot to do a slides collection. So maybe it would be the styling. So let me know if you guys would want that in the comments below, but yes. Rick Birkenstocks, super comfortable after you break them in. When you're breaking them in, it's pain, it's hell, but they're super comfortable now. I love the shoe, it's great. Okay, now on to the clothing. Whole lot of clothes, let's get into it. This is a pair of mainline sweats from spring, summer 20 that I got with the side zip. I got these recently from Allure Market. Really nice piece of sweats. My boy Davian has this pair as well. Just a really heavy sweat pant. A good take on a classic garment for sure. They just feel super solid and they feel like they're worth 
every penny. They're definitely expensive for the retail price, but at the price that they were listed at, if you were to buy them, definitely super worth it. I try to get all of my Rick either discounted or through like brand partnerships to be completely transparent with you guys. So this is a good example of that. <laughs> On to the next one. Speaking of like brand partnerships, I showed this off recently as well. This is the Rick Owens long sleeve. I believe this is from yeah, Flagathon Spring Summer 2021. So just a white long sleeve, super slender arms and body. Uh, has an asymmetrical seam to the back of the piece. And the seams kind of drop to the front of your shoulder. I tried one on the other day that actually had the seams on the top and I kind of preferred it to be honest. So my picky ass might go and try that on and maybe add that to my collection too, to be quite frank with you, just because I could just see myself wearing this a whole lot. I love being able to cover my arms, but also have it thin, but not show my nips, you know, kind of weird, but you could wear this in the summer and not get to cooking. So definitely a fire piece to hold near and dear in your wardrobe, most definitely. Now, some two bangers, two banger pieces right here. This is a grail that I got from Silver League. This is from the almighty Fernando. He sold this to me out of his personal closet. He ended up getting them back. I'm happy about it because these shot up like crazy in the past couple of months. If you guys have been seeing, even from like last year to this year, just it keeps on going up. These are the Berlin sweatpants by Rick Owens. I don't know what's going on with the price of these, but they're in the like thousand dollar plus range just for this exact model of them. This is the heavier fleece model with the zippers and then also this style of pocket and has like the perfect flare and everything. It's hard to distinguish, but you'll kind of be able to distinguish it now in the market based on the price, like just cause everyone wants this exact model with like the little opening there. Perfect flare, very, really, really long leg and very minimum drop crotch. So this is like everyone's dream sweat pant. I love this so much. I don't think it'll ever leave my collection. I got it in a size small. I could easily have gotten an extra small. Everything when it comes to Rick, the sizes are just all over the place. The, uh, the first sweatpants I got, size large. The long sleeve I got, size small. This size small, I could have got an extra small. Realistically, in like classic uppers, I'm a large and large to medium classic bottoms. I'm like a 32 to 31 waist. So that's like a size medium, I would say. So Rick sizing all over the place. I recommend asking for measurements and then just kind of like going based on there. Or if it's elasticated waist, then just try your luck. Next piece. That's another piece of Rick that I just wear all the time. This is the Macedon sweat pant. These are just super baggy and, and wide. I wear these all the time, like literally all the time. They just fall on shoes so nicely, just like the Berlins, but in a different type of light. These have more of a drop crotch, so I end up rolling the waist just because like the legs are super long. No one has legs like this, but that's why I'm assuming they named them the Mastodons. Um, Beamski brought it to my attention. that I think that's like some prehistoric like dinosaur or like some type of thing. The, the thing with the tusks that looks like an elephant, that's a mastodon, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, back pockets, big fan of that detail as well, but just like the perfect wide sweatpants. So those two like dynamic duo, if you could get into Rick Owens, well, these are dark, dark shadow pairs, but honestly with the stature that they have, I would consider the mainline. And there's no like, nothing's better or worse when it comes to like mainline versus dark shadow. Dark shadow is just supposed to be meant to be more wearable, just for you guys to know, because some people have like a negative connotation towards dark shadow. It's just more wearable. It's less of like the runway type pieces or like the um, like luxury material type pieces, like mainline Ramones, leather, dark shadow Ramones, canvas. So that's like one take on like good versus bad, but everything else, it's like those mainline sweats are no better than the dark shadow sweats that I have. You know what I mean? So good little toss up right there. Last pair of bottoms is another new edition that I just have. I believe this is from Flegathon Spring Summer 2021 as well. These are the shorts, the boxer shorts, the Bella boxer shorts with the little split right here. Love, love these. Also has a little Rick Owens uh, hanger right there. Great material. They just catch a lot of lint, unfortunately, but that's completely fine in my books. 
But yeah, super wearable. I ended up sizing up with these. I'm normally a 32 waist and I went with a 34 just so that it's a bit more wide and longer. And yeah, they just feel a bit more relaxed. I like that a lot more. You can honestly even go up two sizes if you want them a bit more exaggerated. But yeah, I went up once, it was perfectly fine to me. Now, these last two pieces are stuff that I got within the past year-ish, I wanna say. Kind of crazy that I acquired these in the last year. I gotta slow down, but one of them was a gift and the other one I got for a steal because of like, just a steal. It, it came into my manifestation through some, you know? <laughs> Oh my God, what's going on in my eye? I got something in my eye. But this one right here, this is the Gradient Puffer from Fall Winter 19. Larry is the season it's from. So it's mainline Rick Owens. It actually features a gradient from black to white to silver, back to black. Really nice piece right here. People ask me about the sizing all the time because I was gifted this, lucky enough for me. I believe it's a women's wear piece as well. I got this in a size 40 Italian and I'm six foot 170 to 65 pounds. And if it's me, great. Like it's a little tight in the arms, I would say. But other than that, like I could size up from here, but this is probably the smallest I would go just based on comfort. But yeah, sleeves are super long, so it could fit pretty much anyone. Cropped in the body, how I like most of my jackets to fit. And just like a tight fitting puffer with a nice little strap on the back. Very unique in comparison to the, a lot of the other jackets that I own. So I feel like I will have this in my collection for a decent amount of time. I've contemplated letting it go just because it is kind of coveted now. A lot of people like it because of Playboy Cardi. Mr. Cartier was wearing this not too long ago. So if that's why you like it, then that's cool for you. But I got it because it was part of a deal. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to turn down some Rick? I don't think so. <laughs> um, and the last and final piece was actually something that I coughed up a pretty penny for, but it's, I've always wanted a Rick Owens puffer of my own. This one, also from Flagathon, I think. Oh no, this is actually from Fall Winter 20. The Performa collection has the asymmetrical zip on the top that just like swerves to the right. Um, has a little neck collar situation as well. Uh, this is the largest size in the women's version of this jacket. And Meg's, funny enough, just picked this up as well. So we're gonna be twinning in the winter once it's once it's that time again. So yeah, here we go. Rick Owens little hanger right there. And yeah, there we go. Rick Owens. Bada bing, bada boom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry if I was a bit more relaxed, you know, filming this on a late night. Just talking my talking my thing with you guys, talking a little bit of Rick on the late night. Vibes. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It was great talking about one of my favorite designers. Let me know if you guys would like to hear about this again with some other type of designer that my, may be my favorite. If I have an abundance of it, I could do it. I did the Vintage Levi's now. I did Rick Owens. Um, if there's another designer that you guys think I have a decent amount of stuff from, then I could possibly do that as well. Um, but other than that, I think that's about it. I appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel once again. Make sure to follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna keep on buying some Ricky if there's any other pieces here and there that I find that I would like to invest in. Maybe the Kiss Boots, maybe wax denim jackets, maybe some denims. You know, some air cuts, maybe dunks, definitely some dunks, hopefully. Sand, you have way too many. Send one my way. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.